Hello everyone, welcome back to the van. Today I'm gonna do a full budget breakdown of this van. So I was curious myself as to how much this thing actually cost me because I didn't really <laughs> uh, track my expenses while I was building it. Just a couple things before we get going. Um, all the dollar values I'm gonna be giving you during this video are in Canadian dollars. So at the very end I'll just convert it quickly to US dollars at the current exchange rate. Another note is that all the prices I'm giving you are uh, tax included. So this budget is also assuming um, that I'm starting completely from scratch and buying everything new. And this budget uh, also obviously does not include the price of the van itself. So I'm going to be adding a running total in the bottom right of your screen uh, as we go through the whole video. So the first main item that I wanted to go through today is the um, bed slash couch uh, that I built. If you guys are interested uh, in building this thing yourselves, uh, I'll add a link in the description to the plans uh, that I drew up for it. There's already another YouTuber uh, who used my bed plans to build uh, something similar for himself. Um, so I'll add a, a link to his video in the description as well. So uh, the first piece for that is a 4 foot by 8 foot piece of plywood. $51.97. We're also going to need uh, three uh, 2x4s that are 8 feet long, so that comes out to $17.07. There are also two hinges uh, in the back of the bed um, to lift up the trunk area. Those come out to $15.18. So there are also two bolts um, that hinge the uh, backrest of the couch. Those come out to $4.60. For uh, all the different types of screws, I kind of just added them all together in one uh, big price. Um, you can find like uh, buckets of all the different lengths that you would need uh, at any hardware store. Um, so I estimated about $20 for all the uh, screws um, that you're going to need to build this and uh, even the screws to build the kitchen as well. Another thing needed for the bed is uh, T-plate brackets. Um, so I needed I think four of those comes out to $19.82. And then the last thing uh, for the bed is two ratchet straps um, that uh, strap the whole structure down to the van so it doesn't slide around while I'm driving. And uh, those two ratchet straps come out to uh, $16.54. And now we're going to look at the mattress. So the mattress I bought online, it's a, a four inch um, foam memory mattress. And the mattress was with tax $183.95. And the mattress, I also had to cut it uh, to a custom fit of my um, bed couch system. And then I got uh, someone that I knew to upholster, custom upholster the whole thing in um, fabric. So the fabric cost me about uh, $68.99. And uh, the friend that I paid to do all the uh, upholstery, um, I paid $200. And then the final thing I have uh, in the bed uh, couch system are the two drawers underneath. So the first part of the drawers is the wood uh, itself for the structure of the drawer. That cost me about $40.84. The next thing on the drawers is the handles. So two handles of $5 each uh, with tax comes out to $11.50. And then uh, the last thing for the drawers uh, is the railings. So the sliding rails here. So there's two per drawer, so four total. And that's a total of $43.60. And so the running total, uh, so far we have um, the bed couch, uh, the mattress, uh, the upholstery, and the two drawers. So pretty much everything I'm sitting on and behind me, um, that comes out to a total of $694.05. So now we'll move on to the structure of the kitchen. Uh, the first thing we have is the uh, two by two pieces of wood um, for the uh, legs of all the kitchen area. Those come out to $12.23. I kind of estimated that a big sheet of plywood uh, would be enough uh, for the counter and the surface of these drawers uh, as well as the desk. Um, so one big uh, sheet of plywood would cost uh, $52.89. The next item is the wood for the drawer, uh, drawer structure itself. So the wood for the drawers comes out to $9.50. Next is the drawer handles. So we have uh, uh, one per drawer, but also on the other side as well. So there's um, two on the front, two on the back. And I also have one under here, which is where I hang my hang my hand towel from. So a total of five handles, uh, $5 each. That comes out to $28.74. 
And then in terms of uh, hardware, pretty much the only thing I use to build the kitchen structure is little one by one um, brackets. And so I bought a, 50, a pack of 50 of those and that was $13.67. It's not the most structurally stable way of building it, but uh, it's good enough for me. It hasn't uh, fallen over or breaking in any way. So <laughs> uh, if you want to put in some more money and have it a little bit sturdier, you can do that. Next up in the kitchen is the butane stove. That came out to $68.97. Then we have a little garbage can. I kind of estimated uh, 20 bucks for the thing. I totally forget how much I paid. Um, so that's uh, with tax $23. And then... Um, the last thing is these little rails uh, for the desk to slide in and out on. I found some random piece of metal at a hardware store that kind of fit my needs. Uh, I don't remember how much it costs, so again, I'm estimating uh, $23 for that. So for the whole structure of the kitchen itself, including the drawers, we have a grand total of $232. So the next main item we're going to move on to is the entire plumbing system. So the first item we have for that uh, is the... Uh, stainless steel mixing bowl I have for my sink, $10.31. The sink drain that I installed in the bottom of the bowl myself, $16.38. And then for all the plumbing and tubing that goes uh, from the drain into the gray water tank, I kind of just mix and match some stuff I found at a hardware store and I completely forget what it was or how much it costs. So I'm kind of estimating $30 uh, for all the plumbing um, that goes from the sink into the gray water tank. Next up are my gray water tank and my fresh water tank. Again, I forget how much they were, but I'm estimating around $20. So $20 each uh, plus tax uh, comes up to $46 for the two of them. And then for the uh, clear tubing coming from my fresh water tank up um, to my water pump and out through my faucet, uh, all that clear tubing uh, I bought for $16.87. And then there are a bunch of miscellaneous plumbing hardware that I needed um, to properly connect everything um, like uh, stainless steel hose clamps. I also needed a valve to go from the clear plastic tubing into the faucet tubing. So I'm estimating that all that extra plumbing hardware was about $23 with tax. And then we have the Seaflow uh, uh, water pump uh, for uh, $45.98. And then finally uh, the sink faucet uh, and the sink uh, hose. So the faucet was $82.76 while the hose was $22.98. So the grand total for all the plumbing system is $294.27. So now we'll move on to the next main topic which is the electrical system. The first component for that system is the solar panel. Um, that one I bought online and it came with the solar charge controller as well as some wires to connect the two. So that kit came out to $206.94. The external uh, deep cycle battery I got um, was 85 amp hours. It came out to $189.70. Next up is the inverter, uh, which inverts the 12 volt DC to 110 volt AC. The one I got was rated at 800 watts and it came out to $86.23. Then the next thing I have is my uh, lights, uh, my string lights. So those were about $20, so $23 with tax. And to install my solar panel onto uh, my roof rack, I just bought some random hardware, some straight uh, stainless steel plates with some nuts and bolts. So for that I'm estimating uh, $57.49. And then finally in the electrical system I just had miscellaneous hardware, the dimmer. Um, I have switches, fuses, uh, for that stuff I'm kind of estimating uh, $23 with tax. And then the last thing I have by far was my biggest expense uh, was the uh, fridge. So the fridge cost me $833.94. So the grand total for all the electrical system is $1,420.29. And now we're going to move on to uh, some miscellaneous um, things. So the first one is the porta potty that I have. That one was $183.96. Next up is the material for my window coverings. So again, that's just some corrugated plastic that I got at a hardware store. That comes out to about $42.53. I have uh, a floor mat that I bought and cut up uh, to custom fit um, the floor in my van. That's $27.20. Then I have some uh, steel rods that I used for my curtain rods. And I had two of those, so that's $15.82. For the curtains, again, I don't remember where I got them from, so I'm estimating about $57.49.7 uh, with tax. 
I have some bug screen on the back windows. Uh, for that I'm estimating again $23 with tax. And then we have some miscellaneous things, uh, some zip ties, uh, Velcro, uh, glues, tapes, uh, estimating about $25.79. So the grand total, everything included, down to the last screw, $3,016.39. And at today's exchange rate, uh, from Canadian into US dollars, it comes out to $2,352.78. So I will add a few links in the description for key items that I bought, uh, like the fridge, the mattress, um, the solar panel, uh, big items like that. So after looking over my budget a little bit closer, it's pretty interesting uh, to, to find some conclusions about it. So the first main conclusion is that over half my budget came from installing an electrical system in the van. Um, so if I didn't want any electrical uh, in the van, I could get rid of the solar panel, the fridge, um, the charge controller, the deep cycle external battery, the inverter, and all the electrical. Um, I could even get rid of the faucet and the hose uh, and replace it with a manual hand pump and that would shave my budget down, uh, but like I said, over half. Another important thing to look at is how to save money. If you were to salvage all the wood instead of buying all the new wood at a hardware store, you could save um, about $185. So I highly encourage you guys to salvage as much material as you can. You could save a lot of money that way. If I were to redo this van, uh, from scratch, the first thing I would sacrifice would be the porta potty. Uh, it definitely came in handy a few times. I was happy to have it, um, but it is a pretty big luxury item, and it's pretty bulky. It takes up a lot of space, um, so you could save uh, 100, almost 185 dollars uh, by not buying that. Another big way to save money, uh, if you were to copy my entire van and you didn't want to spend 200 dollars uh, on upholstering the mattress. Uh, you could learn to sew and upholster yourself, so <laughs> uh, you could do the whole uh, mattress covering uh, yourself and save $200. <laughs> so that concludes uh, the budget breakdown of my van. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Let me know if you have any questions about uh, anything. I'd be happy to answer it for you. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and take care. Be safe.